what would help you and all those who are in wheelchairs or have disabilities, what could make life better? What do people still not quite get that annoys you on a daily or weekly basis? I think the simple answer is don't be afraid to ask. Every single disability is different. So something that I might not need help with, someone else might need help with. So don't, disabled people would so much rather you go up and say, can I help you? And if they say yes, then do what they ask. And if they say no, just leave them alone. Um, because you know, so many people either take it upon themselves to just do it mm -hmm. or just ignore you when you really do need a hand. Mm. Um, but also just be a bit more mindful, you know, when you're walking around day to day. So my example today is um, I was told when I arrived, just go to the taxi office and, and book a taxi. Sounds simple enough. I can do that. And so, uh, except for when you get to the taxi office and there's four steps into it. Um, so I'm just sat waving in the window like, <laughs> hi, I'd like a taxi from out here. Um, you know, when you're walking around your shop or your office or your factory or wh whatever your workplace is, you know, just be a little bit more mindful. And it is just walking around with just that little bit more eyes open and realizing what is around you. So don't avoid you, don't, don't patronize you. Don't and for goodness head. sake, look you in the eye and talk to you and not yeah. your brother, your sister, your mum, your dad or Definitely. somebody standing next to you. And don't talk to the wheelchair. Don't talk to the wheelchair. What does drive you? What does make you so strong? What does make you, you know, overcome everything and keep going and winning stuff and just defying the experts? Honestly, it is proving people wrong. Um, all the way through my career, there have been people, you know, when I started, um, you know, you'll never do sports. Why are you even trying? And then you become Paralympic champion or, well, you all know it, you'll all have seen it in the press. You know, if you're an Olympic champion, you're a drug cheat. If you're a Paralympic champion, you're a classification cheat. You're not as disabled as you think you are. Um, and it is literally going out there and clearing your name. And the thing is, you know, I'm 25, and my two closest competitors, my rivals, are 16 and 17. Um, at their age, I didn't even know what the Paralympics were. So that kind of mm. shows you how mm. much our sport has come on since London 2012. Um, but I don't, I feel quite embarrassed if a 16 year old's gonna beat me, to be honest. So um, that's, I need to hold her off until she's a little bit older and it's Good not stuff. quite a, as big a story. So that's my drive at the moment.